Hey everyone, uh, back again, continuing Operation Curb Appeal. Uh, you saw previous I was doing some uh, shrub removal. Uh, one of the other things that was done was a new front entry door was put in. The original was from 1967, single pane glass, actually got ice on the inside of the windows when it was uh, dead of winter. It was time, uh, actually probably about 15 years ago was time, but mm, one of those things that never got around to it. By the way, I did not film it. I did not do the installation. This is a case where I decided that it was beyond my uh, comfort zone and I did not feel comfortable doing this because if you get any of this wrong, misalignment, um, leaks, rot could happen. I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel confident. So I left it to the professionals. They took care of it, knocked it out in a day and all set. So now it's my turn. We're gonna install some door hardware. Now let's just start by identifying the key components. We have the actual lock itself. We have the latch bolt, and then we have the mounting screws that secures the lock to the door. And then we have two sets of um, wood type screws, uh, one set for the strike plate and the other for the latch bolt itself. Just wanna go over a couple of pieces of door terminology. So the first one is the handing. So when they talk about a left hand versus right hand door, what they're talking about is when you are standing in front of the locked side, so the insecure side of the door. In case of an entry door, that would be the outside. The handing is what side the hinge is on. So this door pivots in this way, the hinge is on this side, this is a left hand door. That's gonna come into play when you're picking the lever. You wanna make sure that the latch bolt and the lever, if you have a lever type, is oriented correctly so that way you, know, you don't go to put the thing in and the lever is like curled upward or something like that. So that's what the handing is. The other is the swing. If you are, have a door like this that when you go to open it, pushes away from you, you push through the door, that is a, so in this case, a left hand normal swing door. If the hinge is on this side, but you pull the door towards you and open it, like let's say the storm, the, the storm door that used to be here, that would be a left-hand reverse. So a left-hand reverse because you are gonna reverse yourself to open the door. So think about it that way. First thing we're gonna do is put the latch bolt in. Uh, one of the things you're gonna wanna check is your back set, which is the distance from the center of the door latch to the latch bolt. Uh, in my case, this was a pre-drilled door to the standard um, back set, which is about two and three eighths inches. But some of these do have an adjustment. Make sure whatever you buy uh, will be compatible with the door you're installing it on. Uh, if you do not have a pre-drilled door, then they do have a template that you can lay this on, use a hole saw and you cut, cut everything out. Make sure that this is tapered towards the frame so that way it can close and come in and get retracted and then snap in. Otherwise, it's gonna bang against it. So, minor thing to check, uh, but all I have to do here is just put these screws in. Not gonna go all the way in because I wanna let this sell, settle in. Make sure that's fully seated and then snug it down. Don't over tighten it, you don't wanna strip up those screws. All right, next comes the lock set itself. So splits into two halves. You have your secure side, uh, you have your unsecure side, which has the, the key and the secure side, which has typically a, a release. That's if you have a lock, a locking set. Uh, if you don't, then uh, they might just be one and the same. On this one, you'll see that it's got these studs here, plus this tail piece that has to line up with this. So that's gonna go in like that. And then fit in. And this usually goes in pretty easily. You're gonna line up the tailpiece here into this square opening. This is where the handing comes in, because notice the handle goes that way. If this were a opposite side, if this were a right hand, then that would be flip-flopped. And I'm reshooting this at night because there was so much light coming through the window, it blacked out the video, so I could not get good quality. So here is snapping this guy in. Just line him up and get it in place. And then we'll get the screws in. Now 
Now I'm not going to screw this all the way in because I need to adjust it. So I'm going to leave them just a little bit loose. I'm going to cross thread it. So it's the same thing, get it most of the way. And then, trying to get this visibly even. So I'll just shift it around a little bit. Get it to where it's pretty good. You can even you know, take a Take an edge and line it up. Just see if you're even. And then snug it down. Okay. All right, now we'll install the strike plate. One thing worth noting for security purposes, um, I forgot to get them, I have to go do that, but I'm not gonna interrupt this video. Um, these screws are, for most of these purposes, a joke. Um, they don't go in that far. And what will happen is if somebody tries to kick your door in, these will rip right out. So if you have a large enough, a thick enough uh, door frame here, you can see I've got some side lights here, but I can afford to probably go to maybe more like a a one to one and a half inch screw. Uh, you're better off installing those. So that way, if somebody does try to force their way in, uh, the screws are less likely to be the weak link or the, the thin amount of wood. Um, the screws or the wood are less likely to be the weak link that causes it to um, break in. So, okay, here we go. Let's try it out. One thing worth noting on this particular lock as well is this incorporates, uh, I'm pretty sure what they've done here is they've incorporated a feature uh, that I learned about from my time in the lock industry called escape return. It's a Canadian code type of thing. So what happens is if you lock the door, you're all set, your door is secure. However, if you turn the inside handle to leave or egress, and you open the door, this is now unlocked. So you have to either manually turn that knob back or you have to put your key in and lock the door. What that does prevents you from getting locked out. Uh, also in the case of let's say an apartment building or a dorm, um, you open your door, you walk out into the hallway, uh, there's a bad guy there or there is uh, a fire, you can jump right back into your room, you don't have to worry about being locked out and now potentially being trapped in a dangerous situation. You know, we didn't buy this lock for that feature. Uh, it just happened to be the style that we wanted and it happened to come with it. Um, I'm going to be putting in a deadbolt, so it doesn't really matter. We'll probably end up leaving this unlocked all the time and just use the deadbolt for uh, normal uh, securing of the door. At this point, I'm going to end the video. The installation of the door latch has been completed. Uh, in case you're just here to see that, uh, I will be installing a deadbolt and I did run into an issue which actually turned out to be a factory defect. Uh, but I do want to go into that a little more detail and I don't want to make the video too long. So till that video comes out, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like, subscribe and notification bell so that we all know when it comes out. And till then, see you later.